full needle hand pad drill. So this is not for any of you guys that's, or women that struggle with the uh, slice. We're not working on that here because you would already do okay with it. You'd be fine. This is for uh, those of us like me who typically get the club back too much like this and then see how everything would be going out. So a lot of people who slice are like this, they're steep and they're like this across it. Um, if you come way underneath, you're more like this. So yeah, we want to be more just kind of neutral, like here to here to here, okay? So I got a little contraption set up here. Um, I'm just using a stick, um, one of my line sticks I cut down and uh, my tripod. Um, how do I have this set up here? So I have basically just, um, you have my tour striker. Hey Chuck, how you doing? Um, set up here for uh, kind of, uh, this is parallel to my uh, uh, pat or parallel to my target, okay? Which is really this orange line piece set down here. So I want to set up more with this kind of on the front side of me because remember, I am trying to do the opposite of those who slice. I'm trying to, I'm trying, that data back, I'm trying to get more like the people that come like this, okay? I don't want it to be severe, right? But if I can get it to be more here to here, that'd be a win, right? Instead of here to here, which I can do at times and get big old hooks. We don't want that. It's hard to time that too. We're gonna put this towards our front kind of front foot-ish and play around with it. I'm gonna have my hands about a hand away. And you know what? You gotta just work on this and see where you end up. Um, like what's best for you right away. And then see if I just go, you see how bad things can go right away. Especially, you know, if I, or here. So I have to come down in order to do this right. I need to go here, boom. And there's a lot of room for that if you do it right, okay? So as all things, if we want to learn something, what do we do? We start off um, doing like a little, little uh, nine three. So, you know, from here to here, okay? Let's see, Let's see if I can do this. I'm a little, a little worried, okay? All right, so we're gonna kick it down. We're gonna go like this, okay? Okay, so you can slow it down, see my hand. I don't even have to look. See, this is why drills are so good when you have some kind of feedback, okay? Video, mirrors, um, contraptions like this, these are called constraints, okay? Something that's gonna force me into a, a position. What's great about constraints is I get to find the feel or whatever of what I'm trying to do now instead of being you know, told something. And that's something if you take lessons from here, if you haven't passed, you know I don't give away feels because I know it's not gonna do any good. You know, people are like, what should I be feeling here? And for me, I, it's not what I wanna get into because your feels are gonna change all the time and I'm not you. I'm built anatomically different and it's just something that's not good. Let's, let's try again. So I'm gonna inch a little bit closer um, and see how I do and see how much I brought it down. I mean, I can see I still have some work to do from it from track me. It's still positive. But five, I'm gonna feel much more here. I can really feel myself. Um, for me, I'm gonna probably feel like I'm coming like this. That's what I gotta feel. Although I won't. Okay. Man, that was nice sounding too. Um ah, I didn't get that one for some reason. So anyways, great drill here for those of you that struggle like I do like that, okay? Now, I mean, can this be adapted to this? Yeah, okay. Get creative for wait till I come out with the next video. That, that covers that. Thanks for watching. My name is Eric Sword, EJS Golf, EJSGolf.com.